What's up, TGN viewers and fellow Yush gamers? Robert the Bruce here. Today I want to look at the playstyle commonly known as aggressive recon. The main problem with snipers is they think that in order to be an elite sniper beast, they have to set up 1,200 meters away from anything resembling an objective and then try all match to land some insanely long headshot. This is a bad idea in many different ways. No matter what any sniper tries to tell me, you're simply not as effective of a player if you were set up that far away taking shots. Even if you're a great sniper and you get some kills, I still argue that you aren't as effective as an aggressive recon player. You are a useless squad member because no one else can spawn on you, your tugs and motion sensors are worthless, and if you're running with C4, it's a complete waste. You're also not as effective because you can't play the objective. The only maps that allow for that much space are objective-based game modes. Obliteration, Conquest... Again, I understand that you're getting some kills, but why can't you get kills and help with the objective too? I always catch some negative responses from my stance on this, but I'm sticking to it. An aggressive recon player is still getting nice distance kills, but he's a valued member of his squad for other reasons too. Spawn beacons, C4, motion sensors, capturing objectives... You have so much more to offer, so why sell yourself short? I think it's funny when people say to me, Ha! I looked at your stats and your longest headshot sucks! You are not a real sniper! My response is always like, so wait, I get lots of sniper kills, I score tons of points, I help my team out, C4-ing enemy tanks... What's the problem again? So what are some ways to succeed being aggressive? Throw on canted iron sights. It's an easy way to be effective up close, and you can leave a longer range scope on top for the distance shots. Also, don't put your beacon in spots that only benefit snipers. Put your spawn beacon somewhere that will help your teammates get back in the action quickly. Finally, don't be afraid to get up close and personal with the objectives. You have a one-hit kill weapon. Cantered iron sights and a laser make you a force to be reckoned with up close. So what are your thoughts? Do you agree that snipers can get some nice distance kills and still be effective in the heart of the action? Or do you disagree with me? You think that snipers should always hang back and provide long-range support? Leave a comment below and let's get some discussion going to see where the majority of the community stands on this. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.